Hi everyone, welcome to episode 5 of the Crafty Dragonfly. My name is Stephanie and today's video is all about crochet, what I've made, what works in progress I have and a creative error, I've got one, and um, where I've been. It's not happy post today, it's happy shopping. So I'll talk to you about that at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. So grab, pause the video, grab yourselves a nice hot drink and come and spend the next 20 minutes or so with me talking about all things crochet. got yourselves a drink I have a cup of tea today as usual and let's get right into it so we'll start with uh, I have a finished project now this is a much needed beanie for this type of weather it's uh, blowing a gale outside I'm sure everybody's experiencing the storm at the moment so it's um it's a beginner friendly beanie it's called i'll just have to look at my notes because i've forgotten it's called an everyday beanie and it's by it's a free pattern on love crafts by for the frills and i'll leave a link to her website she's on youtube she's got a, a tutorial to go with it so it's a really simple um, ribbed design and it's beginner friendly as I said and it's because it's worked in a flat piece rather than in the round and you seam it once you've finished and then you gather it up at the top, make your pom-pom, sew it on and then you've got your uh, piece at the bottom to turn up so um, I think I've showed it in the last episode I did so um, yeah I'm really I'm pleased with it if I had one criticism I would say that I would probably if I made it again I would chain less stitches um, just because it is I'm, I'm not putting it on because my hair will probably stick up afterwards and then I'll never know until I come to edit it so and um, you'll all be looking at my hair rather than what I'm actually showing you so um, but yes I think I would chain less stitches um, just to give it a slightly tighter fit but it's perfect it doesn't fall off it's very warm because it's that lovely Miller Mia Swedish wool uh, it's a uh, merino wool so it's beautiful so yeah I'm really pleased with that so that's that one and that's the only finished project I've got so as usual I have lots of works in progress and I will tell you where I'm up to with the Christmas blanket if this is your first time watching I am in the process of making a Christmas blanket designed by Kate Eastwood. She's at Just Poodling on Instagram. And I'm sure you're all very aware of her. She's a lovely designer, br brilliant patterns, very easy to follow. And that's it's a paid for pattern. So I'm just showing you the front of the pattern. Um, unfortunately it's not in colour because I don't have a colour printer so hopefully you can see that okay and but if you check out Instagram 
and this is a couple of years old this pattern so but i think she's shown it recently so have a look at it and i am so far along with it i am doing the it is quite it's a good beginner friendly pattern actually because the stitch is just literally double crochet it makes a nice dense fabric as you can see you can't can't really see through it um it's a lovely and snuggly and warm in in um in the colder weather and the it's just made up with a bobble row which you use a uh, simply karen um i've forgotten already i'll leave a link to it below but it's sparkly you probably can't see it very well it might not be picking it up on the camera but anyway i'm quite far along with it i have you've got so many more rows to work up in the green and then you make the pieces you make the trees and the car separate and then those are sewn on afterwards so I've already started the car, but there's no point in showing it you. It's only, it's a red, it's just red piece of crochet. So there's nothing really to show you for that. But yep, yeah, it's lovely. I am really enjoying it. It's a nice crochet piece to do in the evening whilst I'm watching TV. I don't have to think much about it. Or so I thought, which I will tell you about when I get to my creative error segment. I have to be honest, I've said this to you before, <clears throat> I could not tell you and then you would think that everything's done perfectly first time around and it really isn't perfect. I don't think any of the things that I make are perfect but they're well loved, made with lots of love and that's all I'm bothered about to be honest. So. I don't mind. It keeps me sane during these uh, strange times. I'm not going to talk about that because this is going to be a nice positive video for you all to sit down and watch just for to take your mind, whiskey mind away for 20 minutes or so. So, yes, I'll talk about the creative error in the blanket afterwards. So, moving on. This is a new work in progress I've started since I last spoke to you all and this I am really enjoying. It's a Christmas cal, which is a Christmas crochet along and it's designed by Lisa and Linda from the Crochet Sanctuary. I'm sure you've all heard of them. If you haven't, check out their posts they're on Instagram I'll leave a link to them below and it's actually the first crochet along I have joined and that's because I'm not usually very good at keeping up with things but at the moment I have I am more or less keeping up with it so and I'm really enjoying it it is all free Lisa has very kindly made some videos to go along with the blanket there are lots of different stitches they're not difficult at all and Lisa's videos are very good very easy to follow and uh, she holds your hand throughout it so it's really really good so that's the picture unfortunately it's not in colour it's black and white but if you have a look on their Instagram feed, it will show you the blankets in full colour and they are beautiful. So there's two different colourways. They're the same design, they're just different colourways. One's called Christmas Eve and one's called Christmas Morning. I've chosen the Christmas Morning and this is where I'm up to. I'm almost at the end of part two. So I've got literally a row to do, I think. So, and part three came out yesterday. They upload every...
Friday morning and it's running for six weeks so it's not too late to join the packs the wool packs are being sold on the knitting network but if you have a look at Lisa uh, have a look at the crochet sanctuary and it will give you some more directions there so it started off at the bottom here this is a certain this is part one with the snowflakes and and then this is part two with the Christmas trees and I don't know what part three is because I've not looked yet so I've not downloaded it but yeah I'm really enjoying it it I've got lots of well I've not got lots I've got a few ends to, to sew in which I will do before I go on to part three um just because I don't want them hanging around and I actually don't mind sewing ends in I find it quite therapeutic so I don't mind that at all but I will do them before I move on so that is the Christmas Cal 2020 for the Crochet Sanctuary so yes I am really pleased with that it's beautiful the colours are really Christmassy and nice so I am really happy with that and um, moving on we're on to the creative error segment now now this takes me back to Kate's blanket now the creative error is on my part let me just tell you it's nothing to do with Kate her pattern writing is brilliant I've said it to you before I sound like a stuck record but for some reason my brain at this particular point couldn't work out what she was meaning on this particular row and I did hesitate whether to show it you because it I'd look a bit dim really but I just thought no because I need to introduce these creative error segments just so that it stops anybody else if they get a little bit stuck on that particular row that they know what to do with it they prob you probably won't it was it's probably just me but I'm going to tell you anyway because I'm being open and honest about it and um, I don't mind I don't mind so this is the front as I showed you before and this is the back now you might notice if I sort of turn it to the side a little bit there's a bobble row here and it's a nice sparkly bobble row which should be on the right side of the work now on the row I can't I can't really tell you too much about it because it is a paid for pattern but I'll just say I just wanted to to confess really and tell you that I've put the bobble row on the wrong side and it was something to do with working in the front loops and then working into the back loops and my brain at the time couldn't work out why they were appearing on the back anyway I did sort it out in the end and it's the age-old thing read the pattern and trust the pattern and do what she's asked of you and I didn't I tried to do it differently because my brain couldn't quite get it right so I tried to do it differently and it didn't work so they popped out on the back of the blanket now the people that want to do it and might think well I, I, I'd have to undo that I can't deal with the fact that it's on the back there which I did I did try to undo it but little tip sparkly yarn once you've crocheted it especially with a quite a, a detailed stitch as in a bobble doesn't undo and I must have spent a couple of evenings attempting to undo this row and because you're working a certain stitch it just wouldn't undo now it's obviously the the sparkle 
is little bits of um I don't know what they are actually but anyway they won't let you undo it because they grab the yarn so I've just thought no it's my blanket it's not going anywhere it's going to be well loved and snuggled under and potentially and um and put out or put out on display so nobody's going to see that unless i point it out to would-be crocheters coming to the house so i'm not bothered so that's my creative error segment as i say sorry i can't go into too much detail with it but it is a paid for pattern and if you are doing it or if you have done it you'll probably realize what i'm meaning so Swiftly moving on, <clears throat> I have some happy shopping, as I said, it's not happy post, I've actually been here to buy the yarn, and look what I've got, Escapees Fine Art Whirl, beautiful, look at the colours, absolutely gorgeous so so soft i can't tell you how soft it is if we had squishy vision it's very very soft it's beautiful and this is for a free pattern the sample was in said shop that i went to and it's by a designer the name is outstanding crochet on Instagram it's a free pattern by outstanding crochet and it's a scarf but it's not just any scarf it's beautiful now if I can somehow by the magic of video insert a picture of this scarf I will do but if not I'll leave a link to as as i say to outstanding crochet in the description bar below this video and you'll be able to see and it's her designs are as it says outstanding it's a raised design um like a trailing leaf and it's done in two two of these so of course because the sample was in the shop and i just fell in love with it i had to buy too, because that's what it requires so I am in love with the colours they are just my colours absolutely beautiful so yeah I'm very very pleased with those so where did I go I went to Ingleton with my hubby we went for the weekend a couple of weekends ago we tend to go once a year I'd go more often if I could but we went this time last year roughly and we went to visit Amanda at Craftopia in Ingleton. The, I don't need to introduce you to Amanda because you'll all know her anyway. The shop was beautiful as always, wanted to spend hours in there, could have done. Um, we were very safe, we had our masks on we sanitised at the door and socially distanced but it was just beautiful it was a lovely hour to spend in the shop just speaking to Amanda checking out how she's getting on what new patterns she's got um, looking at all the beautiful samples hung up in the shop it was just lovely and Amanda talking about make-alongs Amanda's doing starting one shortly called a poncho along so if you check out amanda's feed either on uh, on the craftopia ingleton feed on instagram and she's doing a beautiful poncho and um, she's already done it but she's doing it as a poncho along and she's selling packs for that from the shop which she'll post out to you so check that out because it looks beautiful and um, I think we've come to the end of the video so if you've made it this far 
thank you again ever so much for sitting with me with a nice hot drink and having a look at what I've uh, been getting up to. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.